Hello everyone, this is Rajraj from TechFormant and in this video, I'm going to talk about JavaScript promises. So what is a JavaScript promises? So JavaScript promises is just like as a real life promises. For example, if I give you the promise about providing a YouTube tutorial on the various web techno developer technologies. So this promise have two results. If this particular promise will give you the success or if it is, it will fail if I'm not able to give you the pro the tutorial on web technologies so if i talk about in technical terms in the javascript promises so we have a two parts like we have a, some expression in javascript if this particular expression is successfully executed or run means it will successfully run or this particular expression will fail so how we can handle in the technical part in the javascript part so we have a resolved and rejected part so we have a javascript promises if this JavaScript promises is successfully resolved, so we have to handle with the help of then block. And if the JavaScript promises is rejected, so we have to handle with the help of catch block. So let's see how we can implement the JavaScript promises. Now I have created index.html page and this is a basic syntax about index.html and then I have created app.js file and have linked this javascript file with the help of script src as a html element and this is the app.js file and I am running this javascript file with the help of browser. So now uh, I'll create a javascript promises so we need to create a javascript promises with the help of new promise as a keyword. So what I'll do, I'll just write const or uh, then write promise. So let's say my promise name is P and then we can create a promise with the help of new promise as a predefined keyword. Okay. And this JavaScript promises will, will take two things like it either this promise will resolve or reject. Okay. So if, if this particular JavaScript promises is resolved, resolve means this promise is successfully executed or compile or run or if this particular expression or javascript promises is is not able to complete so we need to handle with the help of reject block so let's say let's define some expressions so i have defined some expression a one plus one so i'll write if a is equal to is equal to true means if this particular expression is true so we need to handle with the help of resolve block base because this will give you the success so here we will write resolve and uh, here we can pass the data so here we can pass the data let's say success and if this promise uh, or is this particular expression is reject or it is not able to complete so we need to handle with the help of reject block and here we can write some message as a fail okay so we have created a simple javascript promises with the help of new promise as a keyword which takes two as a functions and here we need to pass the javascript parameter function parameter name is resolve and reject okay now we need to call this javascript promises so we can call this promise as a promise name and then we need to handle with the help of then and cloud catch block so if this particular javascript promises is resolved so we need to handle with the help of cat then block okay and this resolve block will give you the message as a string so here we can print the message and we can get the message with the help of console.log we can print and if this particular promise is reject so we can handle with the help of catch block and this will give you the error and here we can print the error okay so i'll just save and then reload so it will give you the success because this particular expression is always true so what else here here we can write 22 and this particular expression will uh, give you the false and then this will reject and we can handle this promise or we can call this promise with the help of catch block so i'll save and then this will give you the false as a failed as a result okay so this is simple here we can create a promises so what i'll do i'll create another uh, logic so i'll create a three promises so i'll just write cons and this one is for the promise and here we'll write new promise so it which take two things like either it will resolve or this it will it will reject so here what i'll write console.log or here we can resolve this promise so here we'll write p1 task complete 
or we can write done okay and similarly we can write three promises so we can write three promises and just will change the value so okay i will write to p2 and this p2 task will done and then we have a p3 and then we can write p3 okay so now we have a three promises and these three promises will always resolve because just because we have written this entire logic with the help in the resolve block and then we need to call all of three promises in a single form so we need to use promise dot all methods so here we have a promise and then we need to pass this all method and here we need to pass the javascript array so here we have array is a p1 promise p2 promise and the p3 promise okay and this will entire block will wait until all the promises will resolve or the reject okay so so here we will write then block and then this will give you the messages okay this is a message it is just like as an array of message or messages okay so this entire three promises will run parallelly and will wait the until the all promises will complete or resolve or reject it so here we have a message and here we can print the message with the help of console.log we can print the message with the help console.log and here we have a messages and if the error so we have, can print and for the reject block so here we'll write console.log here we have e so i will save and i will get a messages having a three array so we have a p1 task is success p2 task is done p3 task is done okay so this is how we can implement all the promises in a single part with the help of promise.all method and there is one more method promise.raise so one method is promise dot raise this method will give you like if i'm running three promises and this will give you the the fastest promise data so like let's say uh, promise one will take 10 second for executing and promise two will take 15 second for executing the promise two and this one will give you the 25 second so promise one will successfully resolve earlier so will give you the data so here we will get the data as a message and here we will get the message because this will give you only one promises it will resolve only one promises or reject only one promises those who will call first earliest okay so i will save and then i will run so i'll give you the p1 task completed because we have written this p1 first okay so this is how we can create a promises with the help of new promise as a keyword inside we need to pass a javascript functions as a callback here we need to pass two parameters resolve and reject and then we need to provide uh, expressions expression is just like as a you can write or you can call some apis or you can write some logic for adding a data or reading a data so if this particular expression is successfully called or or give you the true so we can handle with the help of resolve block and if this expression is not able to complete successfully so we can handle with the help of reject block and then we have a then and catch block we use then block for getting a response from the result and we use catch block for getting a data from the re rejected block so this is how we can implement javascript promises and if you have any questions, you can ask your questions in the chat sections or comment section. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video.